how to make GoDaddy site under construction. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to unpublish your website on GoDaddy. Because on GoDaddy, we do not have the coming soon page that we can go ahead and redirect to, or we can have not the coming soon, also a page that will replace the homepage in case that you're going to have some maintenance, constructions or some changement that you're going to have. So you need only to unpublish it. So we are going to head over godaddy.com, sign in for an account, and then we're going to head over our products. Once you have did that, what are we going to do? Basically is to select the website that we want to unpublish or make under the construction. I'm going to select this one, for example. We're going to have the look for the dashboard of that website, and we're going to click on edit website. So we are going to face up the editor. We're going to click on here and we're going to uh, make sure that the status of this specific website is going to be published. So this one is, um, is published. And as you can see, we can have the unpublish button in here. Now, if I am going to make it under construction, that means that we are going to have the website not visited by any customer. And that is going to be crucial if you're going to implementing some heavy modifications like implementing links, changing checkouts, prices, and etc. So you're going basically to click on unpublish in here, or you can head over the settings, click on unpublish, and then you're going to confirm your choice. Wait for a few seconds, click on OK, boom. And here the website is going to be unpublished. So now what I am going to do is to make our constructions or buildings or modifications into our settings or the specific website template. I can go ahead and delete some sections. I can go ahead and modify also some products or let's say here they have a store. Maybe I'm going to add a store or add a product. So I can go ahead and add some products, but as long as I am going to put those they are not going to work on the clients that has been coming. For example, we have some products that has been out of stock. So we can go ahead and revise the inventory of these products and remove them. If they are going to be on stock, it is going to be okay to maybe update them, but without unpublishing them. Aside from that, it is going to be very useful for the people who are going to change, for example, a blog or add maybe some sections that are going to be very sensitive like the store blocks or the specific store sections. I'm going to head over commerce, for example, and add maybe a PayPal button. So I can go ahead and have the PayPal buttons also set up everything from here. So for the featured categories, I can go ahead and add a category like that. And then we are going to have it just like this. That was pretty much it for the publishing. When you finish everything, do not forget to publish your website. Just click on publish and wait for a few seconds until the publishing is going to be over. So here we have it. Also, it is not going to be only concerned for the unpublishing process that you're going to have on the website as it is on the builder, but also for the parameters that you're going to have into the dashboard. For example, if you're going to add a domain to their website, you can see that we are going to add a domain and it is going to be a little bit, let's say here, uh, tricky to have the website published as a subdomain. And then we're going to have it into a new domain that is going to um, confuse the uh, visitors and also the traffic that you're going to implement into the search engines. So you can go ahead and implement or add your domain, install it, and then put your DNS and you're going to get a auto redirection to the new uh, let's say here, a um, specific URL that you have put or the domain that you have bought from the old one. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.